To start chapter 4 today, we're going to begin with a quick review of evaluating expressions. To evaluate an expression means to substitute in the values that you know and to find the solution to the given problem. Example 1 says y plus y minus x, where x equals 6 and y equals 5. So everywhere that we see a y, we're going to put in a 5, and everywhere that we see an x, we're going to put in a 6. So my problem becomes 5 plus 5 minus 6. Now we do have to remember to do the order of operations. We then do the problem from left to right when it involves addition and subtraction. So we get 5 plus 5, which is 10. So 10 minus 6, the answer is 4. Let's try example 2 using the same process. The quantity of z plus y divided by 6, where y is 6 and z is 6. So I start by substituting in the values I know. So z is 6 plus y is 6 divided by 6. Now, in order of operations, we do parentheses first. So I'm going to do 6 plus 6 first, which is 12. So 12 divided by 6, thus giving you 2 as a solution. Let's try another one. This time, the x and y values, or in this case, the h and j values, are different. So h is going to be 3. So it says 3 times the quantity j, which is 6 minus h, which is 3. Now to do this, you could distribute first, or you can remember the order of operations, which say to subtract inside a parentheses first. So 6 minus 3 is 3, so my problem becomes 3 times 3, which is equivalent to 9. So we've done three examples, so let's try three more. So examples 4, 5, 6 increase our difficulty level. Number 4 says m plus 5q. So 5q means 5 times q. So when I substitute this in, I have 1 plus 5 times my q, which is 5. Order of operation state we do multiplication before we do any adding or subtracting. So 1 plus 25, which equals 26. Example 5 is quite different because I see a little number. Remember that little number means power, and so a power of 3 means I'm going to multiply my answer times itself three times. Start by writing your parentheses. y, which is 3 in this problem, minus my x, which is 1, raised to the third. Order of operations day, I do my parentheses first. 3 minus 1 is 2, so really it's just 2 to the third. 2 to the third is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, not 6. Give you a second to try number example 6, q times p plus 2. Stop the video and try the problem. Resume the video once you have got the answer. I'm going to let q be 3. P is 4. You could distribute first or order of operations, say to do parentheses first. So 3 times 6, which is 18. I only have three more examples and then we are done. Example 7, 8, and 9. You might want to stop the video at this point and try those on your own and then check your answers. Once you have your answers, let's check to make sure that it's correct. Let x be 5 when y is 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 2 more, which is 9. That one wasn't too bad. z squared minus y. z is 3, so 3 squared 
minus 4. Well, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 4, which is 5. And one last one with parentheses. Let B be 2. When A is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10, so it's 2 times 10, which is 20. We have now reviewed how to evaluate an expression when given the number values for different variables. Hopefully this is helpful and you'll be able to complete the assignment that is following this video.